we're going to look at batch processing systems and stream processing systems and how do they differ from each other with different use cases the agenda for this particular video is as follows we're going to see what each of these mean when to use batch and when to use streams also we are going to create an analytical application which is going to be an imaginary architecture and we are going to leverage both batch processing architecture and stream processing architecture within that particular application architecture we are also going to look at a brief about how netflix uses kinesis data streams and also nasdaq uses amazon emr for creating batch and streaming applications a disclaimer the use case shown in this particular video is just for reference be wise in choosing the right pattern which fits your use case with that said if you want to skip to a particular section feel free to do that with the timestamps mentioned in the description below most of us are not new to the batches and the streams batches are basically ad hoc or scheduled processing systems which run during a particular point in time in order to trigger a batch you need to collect a lot of data in contrast with the batch streams are usually real time processing these could be processed instantaneously when the messages are pushed if batch relies on collection of data stream relies on continuous data so that you can process them instantaneously whenever they arrive in there is also a new concept called micro batching where you have best of both the worlds this is nothing but collection of data and processing them continuously in a short span of time so you have incorporated the schedule processing feature and also collection of data along with real time processing and continuous processing of data so micro batches are a collection of both batch and streams and you can process data instantaneously but you will batch the data for a short span of time compared to batches when you had to do ad hoc processing or schedule processing for a longer period of time in micro batches you do that in a short span of time these are the basic differences between batching streaming and micro batching so when can you go for batching versus streaming first let's look at batch processing imagine you are getting lot of end of day files these are like multiple files multiple formats and you need to process these files only once per day and these files arrive only end of day in order to do that you can leverage big data processing frameworks like hadoop or spark these frameworks are going to parse your files process them transform them into a particular format and then store it into a database and these databases could be based on hive storage or maybe hadoop um, hdfs storage you can leverage map reduce kind of algorithms to retrieve the data and then show that inside an analytical tool like clicksense or even tableau so batch processing systems are useful when you have ad hoc or scheduled processing when you know that the files are going to arrive only end of day and every day or maybe monthly once and these files are of huge format and size and you need to process these files store it in the, in a database or in a data store so that you can retrieve them for processing or getting analytical information from those data this is a standard use case for a batch processing systems and with big data tools like hadoop and spark you can process them much faster and retrieve them from data stores and, and show them in modern ways using different analytical tools so when can i use stream processing Let's take the example where we have multiple applications and we are trying to publish some information into a Kafka topic. These information could be about who is accessing the application or it could be about metrics about the application. So let's call these information as accessibility information. All those information from multiple applications are published onto a Kafka topic. These are required for our security team in order to process and identify if there is something wrong going within our applications so all these information are streamed real time into a kafka topic what do i mean by streaming here i'm continuously pushing data into a kafka topic so and these are all happening across applications so if i have 100 microservices all those microservices are published accessibility information about itself into a kafka topic from the kafka topic we are going to use different frameworks like apache flink or maybe apache storm or beam or even spark streaming in order to consume these messages real time from a kafka topic and then process them into a data store since this is for security we are going to filter out a lot of information 
which we get from the main Kafka topic and we are going to publish only the required events which we need to act upon. So based on the events whatever we publish, we might have different applications which can consume these events and take actions in terms of alerting or directly going and shutting down systems or acting upon these events. This is another standard example of how you can use stream processing and where you can use stream processing. So just to summarize the stream processing use case, we have multiple applications which are publishing different accessibility information about itself into a common topic and from that common topic we are consuming real-time messages and processing them and identifying for any anomalies which can be acted upon we also store all the messages and process them filter them and then convert them into a different format and store it in a database or a data store we also publish some actionable events into a different topic which can be acted upon in terms of alerting or taking any actions this is how you can create a stream processing framework and the pipeline in which you're processing these messages real time is called stream processing pipeline so these are some of the frameworks which i have mentioned which you can leverage for stream processing now let's understand this with a real time use case imagine i'm going to create an analytics application so this could be similar to google analytics or adobe analytics which is going to collect lot of information from the front-end applications so imagine we have multiple front-end applications we have web browser we have mobile applications and also we have iot devices which are connected to our application and we are collecting a lot of information around who is using from where people are using what kind of browser they are using what kind of geographical location they are present from etc all these informations are collected and pushed into a api gateway and there is a analytic service behind the api gateway so messages are getting pushed into an analytic service that service is pushing on to something called kinesis data streams this is similar to something like kafka so in the earlier example i showed kafka but here i'm going to show something similar to what we have inside aws so aws has something called amazon kinesis data streams which can get data and then stream that data since we get these data real time we are going to use amazon kinesis data stream so the analytic service pushes the data real time into the kinesis data streams since there are real-time users who are going to access our website the data could be huge in number and that's why we are going to use kinesis data streams and we are going to have continuous inflow of data so there is nothing like batching as of yet so we're going to get a lot of information from different devices and these are getting pushed into kinesis data streams in order to process these information first we are going to push the data into something called amazon kinesis data firehose so data firehose can get all the messages and push that into an s3 bucket so whatever message we get we store a copy in the s3 bucket by pushing a copy into the kinesis data firehose in addition to that we want to process them real time right for example in google analytics you get real time information on how many users have hit your web page and where are they from so in order to get real time information we need to process them in real time so for that we can use another service from aws called amazon kinesis data analytics which can leverage apache flink so we can generate real-time reports and push them into a dashboard so we are leveraging kinesis data stream to get data which can be analyzed using the kinesis data analytics using apache flink real time and we can filter out and aggregate information and create dashboards and reports out of them real time so this particular style where we are processing these messages real time and processing and generating reports out of it are called as streams or streaming architectures in addition to that we have all the data stored inside an s3 bucket so these buckets will have accumulated information and let's say for audit information or we need some reports or searches to be done on historical information so streams could be having real-time information and we need to have some historical data store in order to do that we can leverage the s3 data store and use amazon emr to create some data analytics using apache spark and create analytics research out of that and store it inside elasticsearch so that you can use elasticsearch for querying historical information so this architecture style where we are going to process these messages only at the end of day and store them inside Elasticsearch for historical analysis is called as batching architectures. So you can ask me like, are there any duplications which are done in the streaming and the batching system? 
Streams are useful when you want to get real-time and instant feedback. But there could be use cases where you don't want to have real-time messages or real-time data, but you want to have end-of-day aggregated analysis. And that's where batching is helpful. So as a part of the batch, you can get aggregated information and you can use that for historical purposes. And finally, just to complete this particular architecture, we can archive the data from the S3 data store into Glazier so that you can retrieve it later if you need it for audit purposes. So this completes an analytics application with both batching system and also streaming system embedded within it. I hope you were able to understand why we use a batching system here and also a streaming system here. Let me know what do you think about this particular architecture. Does it fit both these or do you think this can be extended for doing something else? Now coming to how batches and streams are used in the industry, a classic example of stream processing is used by Netflix where they use Amazon Kinesis data streams which is the same thing which I showed you for processing terabytes of log data each day from each of their application in order to identify and create analytics from those log information. So this is how their architecture looks like. They have multiple applications which are pushing data using CloudWatch from the application logs and also from the VPC logs. These informations are aggregated using Kinesis data stream which is then processed by another application which is consuming from these data streams and aggregate them and enrich them so that they can identify and trace application information flow across applications within their deployment. If you want to read more, do head to these links which I have mentioned in the description below. I would also want to show you how NASDAQ uses batch processing in order to process their highly secure architecture by using hardware security module of AWS. NASDAQ group uses Amazon Redshift for their warehousing solution. However, they have huge historical information which needs to be processed in an ad hoc fashion. And these are all very highly secure. And due to the security policies, they had to go through secure processing logic. So they have used client-side encryption using S3 SDKs and also used hardware security module for hosting the EC2 instances when they are running their EMR clusters. So they use EMR clusters in order to read the files from S3 and then process them. And the EC2 instances are secured by using hardware security module and the data is secured using the client-side encryption logic with their custom managed keys. To summarize and complete the video, initially we saw what is, what is batch and what is stream. We also saw what are micro batches and how do they differ from batches and streams. We also saw when to use batch processing systems and stream processing systems. We understood both of them using an analytics application by building it from scratch. We also discussed basic case studies of how Netflix uses Kinesis data streams and NASDAQ uses Amazon EMR and S3 to create streaming and batching applications for their architecture. I hope you have got a fair understanding of what are streams and what are batches and when you should be using them. As always, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. If you feel we need to concentrate on a specific topic, do let me know in the comment section below. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.